Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. This is Praveen here. I hope you guys are extremely doing good. So in this video, I have brought one more important topic for you all and a break here. So a break here means I wanted to discuss with you two points here. The first one, how I am bringing the videos is whatever you are commenting down on the video, I am bringing that only. So if you need any data point, any help, any sort of videos, just comment down what you need and I'll be bringing those videos in my channel, right? And the second point is you have to like on the video guys because it will help the other people who are actually looking out for these kind of videos. They will be getting help from your like. So definitely the like target for this video is 200. So if you see that 200 is less, hai, so hit the like button, smash it so that it will reach to more people. Now without further ado, let's get started. So guys, this video is very much important for you all and it is basically DevOps roadmap for 2022. And I wanted to tell you all this roadmap is proven roadmap where my students have got 25 plus LPA in companies like Walmart and Zynga and Deloitte. So what not every other organizations, my candidates, my students are getting. So I'm here to help you all. So stay tuned till the end of the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new to the video. So I have divided this roadmap into 15 data sets and each data point will be flashing onto the screen with some set of tools and I would be recommending you the best tool out of that where companies like Amazon, Fang or any other companies, top product based companies are using this tool. And if I am not having any tool here, you can comment down so that it will help others also. So let's get started with the first set. So set number one or data point one is our source code management. So in SEM, you will have mostly in the companies, you will have three set of tools. One is GitLab, GitHub and a Bitbucket. Among from these three tools, you have to learn GitHub or GitLab because most of the companies are going with these two tools. Bitbucket is also an yes for the companies like Wipro, TCS. I think some of the companies are using that. It depends again solely on my data points, whatever I have put in. If your interest is on to go and read to any other tool, you can definitely opt for that. But yes, under my consideration, under data point one, you will have to learn GitLab and GitHub, right? And the data point two is coming as CI CD, where we call continuous integration and continuous deployment, where you need to make sure you know Jenkins or GitLab CI CD. Now GitLab CI CD is coming into form or famous from last couple of years. So you need to know how the groovy, uh, sorry, how the YAML scripting is done, how the files are designed, how it is integrated, how the runners are created on the background for the deployment for the CI complete CI CD and also Jenkins you need to know how Jenkins is installed how the backup space is taken how the tools are integrated how the deployment is happening and a few other tools are team city and harness harness I have worked with few of the uh, people where harness they are using it's also a CI CD basically a pass service platform as a service where companies pay the amount to the uh, to the different types of industries to get the harness into their environment. So here the recommendations are Jenkins or GitLab CI CD, which will help you to the best to learn. Now coming on to the third segment, the third segment is your security or the code analysis. Very, very much important in, in, in today's uh, 2022, uh, right? So you need to learn few of the tools, which I'll be telling now black duck 45 check marks and for code analysis, obviously sonar cube. So among these four, you need to learn black duck sonar uh, sonar is the must 45. Also, you can take up. I would not recommend you to go with check marks if you think that your company is using or any other company where you are applying in the JD has the check marks. So definitely go ahead and learn. And uh, here is a stop mark again. I would like to tell you all those tools which I'm talking I have covered in my bootcamp. So the link is in the description below. And those who have not opted for the documents, they can also opt for all the documents of the bootcamp 
one in the description below right so yes black tag and fortify are very much important tool where majority of the organizations are using as far as i know right so definitely check out that right now the build tool so how i have planned this 15 segments is starting from point number one the ci cd to the security to the build to the artifactory to the containerization to such extent i have taken right now the build tools if you are using the java application you go with the maven build if you are using the android application you go with the gradle build if you are using ui or front end development then you go with the node build right so all these builds will give you a binary output at the end this binary output you need to store somewhere right now in the build tools i would not recommend a specific tool but if you feel that your organization is using maven uh, as java or android application or front-end application select any of the tool and learn in depth now segment five this is basically one of the important segment and now that is containerization you all need to know what is containerization what are the commands how a docker file is created what are the commands inserted in that how you resolve some errors when you are containerizing an application so here there are no splitting of the tools because containerization is one and only docker the king of the containerization now docker very much important as i have told you so we will be going ahead with segment six now once the image which is built from the uh, maven gradle or whatever node now you will have the binary now once you converted this binary into the docker image the segment six is you need to store the docker image somewhere may it be artifactory may it be docker hub and next is jfrog so under the artifactory in the segment six you will have jfrog or nexus right so this jfrog and nexus you can learn anything and this is one most one of the most important thing which i would like to tell you all these tools you need to learn the rest api is very very much important so jfrog will have rest api like it, it uh, their requirement can be how, how you will write uh, for getting the artifactory uh, rest api or else how you will write some data point to delete the old uh, old modules present in the artifactory so all those things will be uh, you will be doing with the help of the automation now going ahead into the seventh segment you will see configuration management now configuration management there are tools like ansible chef and puppet puppet but most importantly you need to understand how this ansible has taken the picture and has established it footprint in majority of the organization so my recommendation is you guys have to go with ansible learn how to create create the playbooks learn how to create the roles what are the folder structure under the roles the vault how you uh, get some uh, image from the artifactory how you hit the kubernetes and everything you should be knowing in ansible now going on to the eighth segment very much important guys web servers right web or app servers wherever we install the application that is called our server so that is very much important may it be on-prem may it be cloud wherever you see these are servers are important i'll be talking about three important servers now apache httpd nginx and tomcat so the first two servers are for the web server so suppose your traffic is coming here let's take this is your apache httpd server the traffic is coming here it will hit the web server that is why we call it as a web server and then this web server redirects the traffic to the app server which is the backend server the app server is our tomcat server so the in among the app server you can learn either httpd apache or else nginx in the app server you have to go with tomcat so you need to understand how the catalina file or uh, how the tomcat users are created what is the configurations you have you have to write what ports it needs to take all those things you need to make sure you know in the segment number eight now going on to the segment number nine you need to know or you need to be some kind of server admin so there are two types of servers linux and unix so make sure you know linux administration very well because it will help you take some certification course if it is coming in your budget or take some additional knowledge like how you create the logical volumes how you uh, create users how you um, give the access how you make sure your uh, uh, server is security compliance all those things will come under linux server administration and segment number nine now going ahead with the segment number 10 so we are talking about container orchestration here only two tools are there what are those tools i'll be talking about are two one is kubernetes 
and one is open shift and as you all know kubernetes is the god of everything even open shift runs on the back with the help of kubernetes so i would recommend you all to install some softwares in your laptop like minikube or rancher and learn understand how the things are working at least start creating your first application with a spring boot hello world containerize it then you deploy it on to your local kubernetes and check out how beautifully the things will work right and uh, among these two as i've told you kubernetes is the bop of all now going ahead with the 11th thing 11th segment basically now you have deployed your application now someone has to monitor those applications in majority of the organizations we have the monitoring tools in place so there are three types of tools one is grafana one is prometheus one is elk you can take grafana and elk as the best one because these two things will help you in achieving your goals grafana you can understand how the queries are written how you integrate with the data source uh, let's say mysql database or prometheus and grafana is playing an important role in majority of the organizations which you should be uh, knowing the importance elk again for log analysis uh, right so make sure you know how to set up the elk uh, see all these are free guys you just need to install uh, in your laptop and start working on that right so definitely it will help you now going ahead into the last four segments i'll be talking about the 12th segment infra setup none another than terraform so you need to understand how you create the terraform how you initialize the things how you create the infrastructure right how you run the commands there are only few commands in terraform which will help you to understand how you write the things right and in the 13th segment this is very very much important uh, that is the cloud so you need to understand which cloud or which cloud you need to learn and which company you need to target but most of the time i have seen uh, whenever i call someone in the podcast they they tell me like it doesn't matter what cloud you have learned right may it be aws you have learned you can go into the microsoft company may it be azure you have learned you can go into the aws so whatever the cloud which you like may it be from the ui and you may it be on the on the support and may it be on the uh, on the types of things available with the cloud you can definitely go ahead and learn the cloud in order to make sure you are a cloud devops engineer and getting the best package out of it now so i have, i have not told anything it's up to you aws azure gcp whatever you want to learn go ahead and learn now 14th segment we are here very much important all these things are very much important guys and everything i have covered mostly in my bootcamp 1 so definitely check out all the links in the description and again i would say in the language scripting in the segment 14 there are three things you need to learn one is shell python and ruby majority of the people do a mistake they don't know where to start i would suggest you if you are a beginner start with shell scripting all my 10 scenarios of shell scripting is given in the link so definitely check out that if you are good at shell scripting go with python you need to understand how you create the uh, how you use the pandas with python how you use uh, some some import, import statements in the python how you uh, actually hit the data point and get the data manipulate the data with the json or reading the files csv files and making sure manipulating of the csv files you are doing right all those automations you need to know if you are good at shell scripting or else i would say definitely learn shell then come to python right groovy is anyways important because in the segment one we have told gitlab and github both of, both of them needs some or the other where the jenkins file so definitely you need to have this uh, groovy also in place now last but not the least database so guys uh, you all need to understand database is very important may it be no sql my sql or if you are working on the uh, aws uh, you can take any of the uh, dynamo db or rds or anything which you are actually liking so all these data points what you have observed till now right is very much important so according to me i feel in every segment one tool is enough to read right and uh, devops is not just devops guys devops is all about you have to know monitoring you have to know security you have to know some data engineering also on top of that you have to know how you handle the server like a linux system administration so if you know all those things 
definitely no one is going to stop you. So with that said, again, if you are new to the channel, subscribe to the channel. If you like the content, like it, share it with your friends. It will definitely help you. All the important links are in description and connect with me on Instagram and LinkedIn so that you are in touch with me. So with that said, again, stay safe, take care and keep supporting the channel with love. This is Praveen Singhampalli signing off. Let's meet in another video. Bye.